welcome back to my channel and happy new year welcome to 2018 this is our first video of the new year and I am so excited I feel like this year is going to be absolutely magical I have so many plans for all of you guys for the channel for my blog and everything and I can't wait to share it with you guys if you're interested in learning more about what intentions I set for 2018 check out the video that I shared last week I'll link it for you in the description box below it's really fun and you guys seem to really enjoy it so I definitely recommend checking it out so let's talk about what we're making today today I thought that I would share one of the most popular recipes on my blog with you because it is perfect for this time of year it's a bitter cold here in New York City all I want is creamy dreamy soup and so that's what we're making I am going to show you how to make my roasted garlic cauliflower chowder it is so delicious it has such an amazing texture and I think you guys are going to love it this recipe has been pinned over 200,000 times. It is by far, like I said, one of the most popular recipes on my blog, and for good reason. It is so simple, packs in the veggies, and it is so warm and cozy. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Of course, with all of my other videos, the full recipe is in the description box below, so you can tap that link, head on over to my blog, and you'll get the full recipe and instructions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. For this recipe, we're gonna start by adding our chopped cauliflower onto a baking sheet and add on your chopped potato. Then we are just going to drizzle both of these with some olive oil, top it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then you can just use your hands to kind of mix it all together to get those vegetables evenly coated. And then we're also going to roast an entire head of garlic. And to do that, we just want to first slice the very top off of the head of garlic. That should expose the cloves right there. And then you can put that into some tin foil and you're just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and then just wrap it up like a little package. And we'll add that onto our baking sheet and we'll roast all of these veggies for about 20 to 25 minutes at 425 degrees. Once they're nice and roasted, you can just kind of stir them around a little bit. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit so that they're easier to handle. And once they've cooled down, we can just start adding them all into our blender. And then with the garlic, you can just kind of unwrap it and it should be soft enough where you can just use a spoon to scoop out the cloves and they will be nice and roasted and it should smell amazing. So just scoop out all of the cloves of garlic and add that into your blender as well. And to that, we are also going to add some raw cashew pieces, some cooked quinoa, as well as some roasted garlic hummus, which adds a really nice creamy flavor and texture. We're also gonna add in some nutritional yeast and some miso paste. And then the liquid we're using is vegetable broth and water. And then essentially we're just going to blend this all up and it's honestly as easy as this. You can just blend it all up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. You might need to add a little bit of liquid as you're going depending on the texture that you're getting, but it really is as simple as that. Your soup, if you're ready to serve it right away, you might just wanna heat it up a little bit on the stove because it's likely not gonna be piping hot if you have blended it up. So just heat it up a little bit and then you can serve it right away in your bowls. For me, I love topping my soup with some fresh herbs. Here I'm using some chives. I also like a little spice, as you guys know, so I'm doing a little bit of red pepper flakes. And then the hummus that I like comes with a little bit of garnish of roasted garlic, so I like to add just a touch more roasted garlic on top. You could also just use jarred if that's what you have. And then to finish it all off, I love topping my soups with a little bit of olive oil. It just gives it a nice little creaminess, which tastes amazing. And there you have it, my friends. That finishes out our first video of 2018. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Can't wait to see your recreations. I think you guys are going to love it. If you don't have the roasted garlic hummus, you can totally leave that out. You could also leave out the quinoa. And I think you could also swap out the cashews with some coconut milk. That would probably be also very delicious. So make sure to share a photo with me. If you do end up making it, you can tag me on Instagram using at simplyquinoa or you can use the hashtag simplyquinoa. That just helps me easily find your photo and give you a little bit of love in return. I also wanted to mention that I hosted a live workshop with some of my email subscribers and I actually have it now available for everybody to watch for free. So this workshop is all about some of my easiest and kind of most effective weight loss tips that you can incorporate into your life right away all without dieting. 
So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I will leave a link for you in the description box below. It was a really fun workshop. People came away with a ton of value and I would love for you guys to come join us and check it out. So again, that link is right below in the description box. Other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week. I will be back on Friday with another brand new video. As always, I would love to hear your feedback. If you guys have specific recipe ideas or suggestions that you would like me to incorporate onto the channel in 2018, please leave them in the comments below. And I think that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have an awesome start to your year. I'm so happy and thankful that you are all here and I can't wait to share all that is to come in 2018. So have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.